All right, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a gorilla fish today. And the thing that I always begin with when I'm drawing a gorilla fish is, uh, well, the first thing I need to teach you is basically how to draw a gorilla. So let's just begin with the eyes, because I really believe that the eyes, when you're drawing any character, are the things that are going to determine the whole expression of the beast. So if you, as you can see, I've drawn the pupils right in the center of the eyes so that it's looking right at you. I could draw it with the pupils to the right so that he's looking this way. I could draw it with the pupils kind of looking in either direction, which I think kind of suggests um, a gorilla that's not too bright. But I'm going to have him looking right at you, so it's almost like you have chills. You've made eye contact with the gorilla. The next thing I do is I draw that prominent brow. And I'm going to draw his nose now. Now whenever I think of a gorilla's nose, I kind of think of those um, chemistry beakers, the ones that are shaped like this, not the ones that are shaped like this. So let's just imagine the shape of that chemistry beaker being the nose and then two circles at the bottom. Imagine maybe two marbles in there. And then we're just going to taper it off the bottom. It's just a very simple, uh, my simple rendering of a gorilla nose. Look at the cheek, look at the mouth and the chin. And now the other things that gorillas have, especially, I'm going to be drawing a silverback, which I think is maybe like the, the gorilla that you think of, the big male that you think of when you think of gorillas. Um, they have heads that are kind of shaped almost like, kind of like a mound or like a Hershey kiss or something like that. So let's just go ahead and make that mound. The ears are very much where humans' ears would be. All right. And then the, sh the head kind of disappears into a couple of massive shoulders, which go to, let's, you know, when um, you see women wearing really thick fur coats, the arms almost look like big tubes or big, like, kind of hairy, fat sausages. So think about that for being his arms, all right? He's going to be on his knuckles. Do you ever hear the term knuckle dragger? All right. And he's got these little short legs in the back. So I'm going to draw a couple of toes over there. And the other thing that I really like about gorillas is that they have these massive chests that just kind of disappear, almost like a greyhound, into the hind parts. I'm going to draw just a hint of his foot behind there. But basically, I'm not... Here's where you get like a general sense of what they look like. Um, sometimes when I draw gorillas, they end up Let's see a good example. They end up kind of looking like men, like weird misshapen men. So sometimes I'll consult something like a book like this. I've already selected the page. And I'll just take a look at a couple of gorillas just to make sure I'm on the right track. It, and that way, you know, I don't have to show my bad drawing of a gorilla to someone else and have them kind of scratch their heads and be like, oh, it looks kind of like a Simpsons character. Or it looks kind of like, I don't know, I don't know, an ape man, like one of these guys. At least that would be more on track, but... So I would consult some sort of image. But I'm not here to draw a gorilla, I'm here to show you how to draw a gorilla fish. So let's start off with the same eyes again. looking at us again, the same brow. See how I drew that kind of wiggly? It almost looks like a worrisome expression. Let's draw that nose, that shape, and I guess those are more like oval shaped nostrils, and the mouth. All right, but now instead Instead of arching up and over and making that head, what I'm going to do is arch up and kind of down. And now what if at the top, instead of 
you know, nothing at the top of his head. What if I were to put a fin? All right? And now what if over here, I were to make a tail fin? Hmm? And now what if over here, instead of two beefy sausagey arms, I were to make two fins that kind of mimicked that, and let's turn them in towards each other. So that he's a bit of a knuckle-dragging fish. And what if instead of, instead of that ear that I'm drawing over there, what if I drew a couple of fins that come, kind of mimicked that ear? I would say that's a pretty good gorilla fish, though. Now that I look at it, it kind of does look a little like a man. So let's draw another one, and we'll give him a more monkeyish expression. So this one's going to be kind of face... I'll make this one in three-quarters view. He'll be looking at this one. Let's give him that brow. And I imagine this nose in profile is kind of like this. And here's the eye. And there's that brow. So there's his brow. There's the side of his nose. Do you ever look a cat, at a cat from the side? Their noses are kind of similar. And to make him more gorilla-y, let's make him visually making some sort of noise, like some sort of ooh noise. And so to make an ooh, let's see, I would make the lips in a circle. So these are the lips. And this will, this will be the inside of the lips. See how he's going ooh and sticking his lips out? We'll say that this is kind of either a threat thing, but I think it looks a little more like um, uh, he's impressed with this one. Okay, so we'll make, give him that ooh. And even, I think it's his eyes maybe that give him the most sign of impression that uh, that um, that he's impressed. It's almost more like instead of actually saying ooh, maybe he's going more like wow, look at that gorilla fish K5 that you just drew. Give him a fin up there. But actually if he was saying that he would be looking at me, he would be looking at him. It's like he would turn to him and look at him, then turn to me and go and go like okay. So draw the ears or the little gills And draw those arms. He won't be posturing. I think he's definitely posturing. He will not be posturing. His fi fins will just be kind of, you know, in the locomotion stage. And... Oh, you know what else we can do with these back fins? These back fins can kind of be like the little back legs. Just another thought. We'll throw another fin back here just for fun. And his other fin will kind of be over here. Alright. And to color these, because gorillas have such really wonderful, amazing colors, what I'm going to do, instead of just coloring them black, because I really think that they have kind of an iridescent color, I'm going to load up my brush with a bunch of blue. And some black at the same time. And see how that gives it just a much richer shade. As opposed to just painting him black. And I find that the more colors you can get of blue on here, the more interesting it will be on the paper. Now I'm just using pretty crappy vellum right here. My cat just came upstairs, and she's covered with dust from the basement. Maybe she wants the fish. Well, it's good that they're up here on the desk. Ooh, I need to put some more black in there.
All right, and how about for the flippers, just to make it a little more fish-like and a little less gorilla-like, I like to paint them yellow. So, kind of indicating that they're kind of tropical. All right, and there's a really simple way to draw a gorilla fish.